Hello everyone, so after so many of you asked me to do a Draw My Life video, I decided to pop out and buy a whiteboard and give it my best shot. So it all started on the 20th of March 1992 when I was born, yay! Apparently I was quite a small baby and I weighed six pounds something. My mum probably said ouch and my dad probably said oh my god. The second my head decided to rear, which does look like a giant spider right now, but I promise you it's not, it's something far, far worse. The second my head popped out, before the rest of my body had even made an appearance, I opened my eyes and I blinked at my dad and it really scared him. 18 months later, my brother Joseph was born and my dad actually refused to be down the head end for that one because of my creepy introduction. Um, as you can see, I had crazy curly hair. We used to go on quite a few family holidays and I think I was around two or three years old. I've drawn us looking a lot older here, but I promise you I was a lot younger than I have drawn myself. We decided to go on a family holiday to Cornwall, which is all well and good. I made a new friend on the beach called Charlotte, I believe, and I actually pooped in my swimming costume and I now feel very, very bad for her as she had to hang out with the smelly kid that had pooed herself. <laughs> Never saw her after that, can't think why. We grew up in a really small village right next to a couple of really tiny towns and I actually really enjoyed primary school. We did things like hopscotch and knitting, which is so very exciting. I spent most of the time with my best friend Alex. She and I used to spend every day together doing the most mundane things that felt like the most exciting adventures ever. We pretend we were American tourists, get banned from AOL chat for misuse of language and sit and watch rats swimming in the river, rollerblading and prank calling the sex advice line from the local phone box saying things like my willy's fallen off, oh. <laughs> thinking it was so hilarious. This was before speedy Wi-Fi people, it's the best we had. I used to persuade Alex to film music videos and random silliness on one of my dad's old camcorders, which looking back, she probably absolutely hated me for it. But uh, you have to admit, Alex, they are pretty hilarious when you watch them back now. At the age of 10, I was cast to be an extra in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. It was literally one of the most exciting things ever. I got to meet a lot of the cast, and whilst filming a scene in Snape's potion class, I was sat next to Devon Murray, who plays Seamus Finnegan, and the guy who plays Dean Thomas asked if I fancied Devon, to which I replied, no, I don't. Then he said, would you go out with him, to which I nervously played with my quill and said, no. He then turned to Devon and said, it's a hard life, Seamus. I kind of wanted to die. Secondary school came around and it was quite a shock to the system, like a small fish in a huge pond. But I did make lots of new friends and even had a few boyfriends and actually looking back I really did enjoy school life. Even though sometimes myself and my friends would skip lessons and hang out in the loo. This is naughty, unhygienic and unproductive, it does not make you cool, do not do it. After school is where things got a lot more tricky. A lot of my friends disappeared off to uni and I was left wondering what on earth I was going to do with my life. I'd done art, photography and textiles for A-level and passed with high A grades but I just didn't know what I wanted to do. I felt quite lost and my anxiety also meant that I couldn't join in with things like clubs and pubs so I became quite alienated. I started working in various different jobs, one involving interior design and another involving a retail store and although I learnt many things I knew that none of the jobs I did were fulfilling or what I really wanted to do and they also didn't really make me that happy and by this point my anxiety made things like working a lot more difficult for me. In order to distract myself from all things poopy and life related I decided to set up a blog called Zoella which then also led me onto YouTube and doing a few videos every now and then. In 2010, after I'd been blogging for a short while, a girl called Louise emailed me asking if she could send me a card because she enjoyed reading my blog so much, which made me so super happy. And I replied, obviously, I would really like you to send me a card. And also, does this mean we can now be BFFs forever and ever and ever? Since emailing in 2010, there's not been a day that we've not spoken and she is the best friend I could ever ask for. Last year, things got a lot more tricky for me. I ended a really horrible, turbulent relationship with a big ass, which is the nicest words I could think of, and my parents decided to divorce which made things in life slightly more difficult and it also meant that I had a lot more panic attacks than normal. I soon decided that enough was enough and I wanted to come out of my shell and do more by saying yes to more things, which also meant that I spent a lot more time on YouTube, which also led me to meeting some amazing people through doing this. I'm so glad that I stepped out of my comfort zone and did things that I found extremely difficult at the time that led me to doing all these things and meeting all these amazing new friends. More recently, I stepped on a dodgy, uh, there we go, not looking plain, for the first time in seven years. 
and got to meet lots of you in Florida. This was a huge deal for me and I spent the week with friends new and old and had so much fun. I apologise Tyler and Joey, you look really kind of odd there on the end. I think I feel more me now than I have done in a really, really long time and obviously I still suffer with anxiety and panic attacks at times but I don't want it to ever stop me doing things and if there's one thing that life's taught me so far is that everything happens for a reason and you just have to have the confidence to push yourself into doing more things as it opens up a whole new world. I cannot believe I am nearing 1 million subscribers. I still look onto YouTube and think, is this real life? I love and appreciate all of you guys. Thank you all so much for watching my videos. I hope that you continue to enjoy them as much as I enjoy making them. So there you go guys, that is my life. It's not all that interesting, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thank you so much for watching. It really does mean the world to me. If you did enjoy it, please give it a crazy, scary, weird thumbs up. I cannot draw thumbs, <laughs> apparently. And I love you all lots and I'll see you soon.